rendering fashion heads is something that you'll want to become good at, and you'll be doing it a lot if you're doing fashion illustration. And this is about making your muse look beautiful and to capture the look that you wanted to have when you started the drawing. Of course, I'm laying in skin tone, and because I use so much skin tone, I generally use a Q-tip so that I don't use up all my markers. And I started with a silk, and then this is an E11 in the Copic markers, and I'm laying in my shadow, primarily on the back plane of the face. Of course, the nose and around the eyes will have a deeper shadow. And because this is detail work, this is where I like to use my marker tip. Makes it easy to control. And here, of course, cast shadows, so we need to put shadows underneath here. And you always pull the face colors up into the hair. Now you see the finished skin tone. And I'm going to give her a cool hairstyle. So I'm using a very muted gray purple. And she's drawn with a bit of an anime influence. And so I'm going to render her somewhat like an anime illustration. It's a nice way to achieve style without being too extreme. You can see I left a highlight around the crown. And now I'm using Prisma Pencil to add some color to the lips, but I'm keeping the lips very cool so they coordinate with the hair. And I'm also taking a little of that lip color up into the hair so all the colors become integrated. Now I'm using a soft yellow to add some highlights to the cheekbones. And again, I'm taking it up into the hair. This makes my highlight warmer. And it's a nice complement to the violet's purple. Now I want to add some stronger shadows and some darker lines, so I'm using my black Prisma pencil. Again, because it's anime influence, I want the line to be strong. It's a rather graphic style. I think she can use even darker shadows for more emphasis. So I'm using a warm brown. This takes the hair into a little bit more of a real color. But I don't want to cover up all my violet. And again, because the color is stronger, now I need to pull out the line even more. This is creating a very graphic look. And I have to make sure that my pencil is sharpened to get this nice sharp line. The chin shadow is a little strong, so I'm just using a white prisma to soften it. Prisma pencils can do so much for you. Add a little shadow. They're very easy to control. And they can always be blended with marker if they go on too strongly. I can use that same color to add a bit of eye makeup. Now I still want that plane to be a bit stronger in tone, so I'm adding a little bit of a pinker tone. And this is a rendering that I did earlier that's a much warmer rendering. Now this is my young Asian guy. So I'm using a stronger skin tone. This is a bisque. It's number 30 in the Copic markers. And for shadow, I'm using, uh, I believe this is E34. So he gets a warm, but not overly warm skin tone, quite strong, which goes well with the very strong hair rendering, which, by the way, I did with Tombow, which is a great black. Always shadow under the nose and under the lip. 
Now I want to make his eye more definite. And I'm going to add just a little bit of um, my warm color to the highlights of the hair. Again, so they blend with the rest of the face. And of course, the face casts a shadow onto the neck. And my sweater, I want to keep in neutrals. So I use a warm gray and lay it in rather loosely. It's a light sweater. I don't want it to look too heavy. This is not about coloring, staying in the lines. This is about a loose, brushy approach. Now I'm using white gouache to add highlights to the eyes. A touch on the lips tip of the nose, a little bit in the hair, and at the top of the sweater, pull out the rib and create the upper plane of the sweater. <laughs> 